It's a movie about miracles. All you got to do is believe in it, boy. It's an action film. Fire! Stamps here! Send them out! But it's also a film about differences between the people. We are Italians. Full blood. And what are we, half blood? There's so many different layers to the story. It's a big, big movie. If I was to choose one word, I would just call it epic. It's that type of scale. It's about the commonality of the human experience. Germans, Italians, Americans, we're all pretty much the same. We're victims of human frailty. The story of Miracle Santana is about these four Buffalo soldiers, black soldiers fighting in World War II as they fought throughout every war in the United States history. But four of these guys who get trapped behind enemy lines. Where the hell are you? We've crossed! You what? We're with Uncle Jerry! We spoke 18 to Chris, 479, and 16! They're trying to, to make it back. We wait here in the dark, and then we cross back. Good. And in the process, one of the soldiers, you know, played by Omar Benson Miller, saves the life of this child, and he becomes one of us, you know, our fifth squad member. And they find themselves in a remote Italian village. What you think? Little Red Riding Hood lead us through the woods. Villagers have never seen a black person before. Most of them can't speak English. How they overcome these barriers and try to form allegiance before oncoming Nazi attack. Man, we got a great cast. These guys are great. I don't know, I had a blast with all of them. This is my first movie I made with all of these guys. There's not one person here that I've worked with before. I would not say there's a lead in this film. This is, by definition, an ensemble piece. The leads are Derek Luke, Michael Ely, Laz Alonzo, okay. and Omar Vincent Miller. Special Italiano Caramella. Derek plays Stamps. Staff Sergeant Stamps here. Staff Sergeant Stamps. Same position, over. Someone west of Bargo Amazano. Ely plays Bishop. The only person with any luck around here is him. Now, plus, he owed me $1,400. Laz Alonzo plays Hector Nodron. Train's kid, all right? He's talking that he's seen a, a church, a fire, the Italian. And Omar Benson Miller plays the behemoth, the mammoth train. Five taps. Lean. You got to take your medicine. The four of us work really hard on our own chemistry and our own communication. And it just really got us to, to be very used to how the other one moves. It just got to the point where when the four of us were together, we were almost just falling into our characters. And then that makes it look real that yeah. Hector's last. Yeah. Spike on the set, he's a powerful director. I mean, there's no question who set it is. All right, what are we doing next? Tell, tell, tell. He's, running across, he's running across the square. Yeah. Where the camera's going to be? One in the roof, one up there? One's up there, wide. Up, wide, out the window. He's not afraid to get his hands dirty or his feet. The first 10 days that we shot was in the Circio River. And Spike was in the water with us. We were in there 10, 12 hours in the water. Spike was in the water 10, 12 hours right next to us. You guys are going to run this way with this dolly. You're running from the opposite direction. He has this team version of directing. Spike's like a coach. He's like a basketball coach. And he forces you to be prepared. And between action and cut, he gets out of your way. Well, I've never had an experience like this shooting before in the 21 years I've been doing this. All right, let's go. But do not... The terrain, the weather. We had never done a World War II film before, so the explosions, the squibs, getting all the choreography together. There's a couple of guys that go forward and I go back. Behind. But we need to delay that. They're going to hit the ground. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Do you, do you on them? A great Italian crew. All right, here we go. Roll sound. Natural, as if the camera's not there. Most of it was shot natural light. Spent three months in Tuscany, final month in Rome, on the world-famous stages of Cenocito. Hopefully this film will be a marriage of African-American 
and Italian cinema. And it's going to be a Spike Lee movie no matter what he's talking about, even if it's Italy 44. So I just trust and sit tight and just let myself go into Spike Lee's world.